Hello friends and welcome to Vlogmas Day 27. I'm just getting home and it is about 1.30 in the afternoon. I had some appointments today that I just had to take care of and while I was gone, my narwhal did all my floors for me. Because I was cleaning up all the Christmas decorations, my floors were quite messy. So it must have just finished because I can hear that it is cleaning and drying the mops. It has like a little touch screen that tells you everything. And then, this is my clean water, and this will be my dirty mop. Look at this. I know it's so disgusting to show you, but it mopped my floors, and that's how dirty the water is. So I'm gonna hurry up and dump this down the toilet and rinse it out well, so it's good and clean. I love that you never have to like contact the dirty water. But like this is proof of how well it works. What's great is now that it's done cleaning, it actually cleans and sanitizes and dries the mop heads. And I mean, with the two dogs, Steven got me that because I just couldn't keep up with the floors. And it picks up so much. And I'll spin you around so you can see what my floors look like. So you can see even the shine on them. I had it sweep and mop simultaneously. So it was sweeping in the front and mopping in the back. And you can even have it lightly do your carpets, like clean your carpets. They, it doesn't get overly wet. I just do it on a lighter setting, but like you can see the lines on my carpet. And then this from tracking up in the basement was so dirty. I think that's why my floors were extra dirty. And then I also had it do Steven's office just because Mabel sometimes has some accidents. Say, life is full of accidents. You're still learning and growing and that is a-okay. Oh, did I embarrass you? Did I embarrass you because we talk about your accidents? Did I embarrass you because I talked about your accidents? They're just accidents. We love you anyway. I love you anyway. Accidents and all. This is your forever home. You must have been enjoying the weighted blanket. Because that's not where I left it. I don't know how you m managed to do all that. Um, yeah, before my appointments this morning, I did a quick workout and also had some things delivered. So this is Mabel's main Christmas gift. It's called The Fable. It just happens to rhyme with her name. And it is a game. So it's silicone, nylon plastic. You hand wash it with soap and air dry after use. It's for dogs 20 to 70 pounds. And it's for supervised play. It was a little pricey for her Christmas gift. I think I paid like 50 to $60 for it. But she is so worth it. Bubba's just gets treats because anyone that has followed us with Bubby, you will know that Bubby does not like toys. I actually think our first year of Vlogmas, we bought him like a $100 Go Bone. He never once touched it. We ended up having to return it. But I'm thinking that Mabel will really, really like her fable. I just have to find directions. So I just watched a quick video and learned more. So what it is, is it's like a wobble style enrichment toy and I put treats in it. I'm gonna start with a level two and as she rocks it, the treats will fall out but it goes up to like five difficulty settings. The other thing is this is a lick mat. So if we crate her, we could l put this in the freezer or even just um, during the summer or any time we want, put some peanut butter on here and freeze it and she can play with it. But I'm gonna set it down. Mabel, looky. <laughs> you like the treat. She's gonna have to learn that you. Looky, you have to rock it. 
<laughs> it's gonna take her a while to She's like, this is too much work. You have to knock it around. Looky, looky. I'm just gonna let it and see if she can start figuring it out on her own. This is not for doggies. You have treats in your toy. Bubba, this is not for doggies. Steven went ahead and ordered us some more coffee because we were out. I'm just going to kind of reorganize this and reload it. And I actually might make myself an iced coffee while we're at it. Is he, are you sharing? I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you for sharing. Who's sharing with your brother? Who's a good girl? Did he did he take it away from you? It might be good for him too. I mean, when you get older, you need brain exercises. Uh, so this is just how we organize our coffee. I know I've shared this many a times. I will make sure to link it. It is just a foam organizer that I found the measurements of my drawer and I put them down with command strips so they stay in place. And then we have our tea organizers here and just some like overflow tea. So I'm just going to get this loaded up and kind of reorganize. For the iced coffee and espresso pods, you just fill your glass up with ice. The pods are stronger. So as the ice melts, it dilutes it. And then I always just add a few more ice cubes to it. You have to play around with glasses though and find the glass that does the best job. I already know you're all gonna ask about my glasses. They're from an Etsy shop. I will leave her link down below if she is still in business because I love helping small businesses, but here's my coffee for the day. I have two other glasses like that. One is latte and one is Prosecco. So, love them. Everyone is wound up and I don't know why. Mabel, looky, you have to hit this. If you hit it, treats come. Oh, we're gonna see how smart you are. What are you all worked up about, old man? Today has been a real wash of a day. Besides running errands, working out, feeding the dogs, having the narwhal clean my floors for me, I feel like I've done nothing. I did start um, planning uh, New Year's Eve dinner. Once again, it's just going to be Steven and I, but I'm doing a bubbles and birds theme. So I am going to buy like different samples of champagnes in like the smaller bottles and then do fried chicken. And I haven't decided on all the sides. Put comments down below for like good sides with fried chicken. But I love this idea of like bubbles and birds and like having a theme for the evening. I wish I could say there was like a good theme for tonight's dinner and it's called use what's left in the fridge. So we have some chicken breast that we need to use up to go with that. I'm just going to make like a simple salad and then also some pasta. And I'm just going to do some like olive oil, crushed red pepper, a little bit of butter. Cause I like olive oil and butter mixed when I do just a plain pasta and some Parmesan cheese. And that's going to be our side. So that's what dinner is going to be tonight. Bubba's has been playing the most. He's like proven me wrong. Come over here, Bubby. Looky. Wait. Oh, we're a little protective of it. 
And now she is going to be scared of it and never, ever use it. Bubby, you need to be nice. You don't even know how to get them out. I have to help you. Hit it like this. That's what you do. <laughs> it's the first toy he's ever been like. He knows they're in there. Bookie, this way. This might be really good for him. Bubby, looky. Yes, yeah, see? Some came out. She sees them, but she has like such respect for him. This is definitely a toy that can only be out when like we're supervising because he does get really protective of food. As far as Christmas decorations go, one, here are my couple recommendations. I'm gonna link my favorite wreath holders and my favorite tree organizers. And then I don't organize my trees just by dumping them all in. I usually separate them by like bottom two pieces, top two pieces, and put them in two separate Christmas tree bags, label them as such. And I do that for all of my Christmas trees. I don't keep any of the boxes. All of my storage is in clear bins and I write what I've, and I write and put a little like note with packing tape and just write the contents of that bin even though it's clear and I can still see in it. The other thing I do is I take pictures if it's a solid bin and I haven't replaced it with a clear bin yet. I take on my little Polaroid camera, which I'll link below, a quick snapshot and I put that on the front of the bin if it's not see-through. This year I am dividing up all of my decor and reorganizing it and it's taken quite a bit of time and I'm slowly gonna work through it the month of January and February, but I'm organizing everything by color versus theme. That way I can recycle a lot more and when I'm thinking like, oh, I need blue ornaments, I can go to the blue bin and check out all my blue ornaments and decor and ribbon. So I'm color coding ornaments and ribbon by color in bins and less by how I was organizing originally by theme. But my favorite wreath containers, my favorite tree containers, my favorite clear bins from Target are all linked below for you and what I use, as well as my little mini Polaroid camera because that's how I organize. That Polaroid camera is great. If you have bins that are not see-through, you can really help yourself by taking a quick picture, printing it out, taping it to the front of your bin so you know what it is. But this year I'm focused on reorganizing by color versus theme. I think it's going to make my life so much easier and also make it much more feasible for me to reuse things year after year. I already have my plan for next year and I'm excited for it. Mabel's excited for it too because it means new things to eat and chew. Right? New things to eat and chew. That, that tail is a wagon because you know it's true. All right, so I have some butter and olive oil melting in a pan. While I have everything going, I'm just gonna scoop out a little bit of my pasta water. Also, caraway pans. I'm telling you what, friends, they are all that I use anymore. They are fantastic. I have this on really, really low, so I'm going to add a little bit of garlic in it and the crushed red pepper and let that come together and kind of infuse that oil and butter. Sometimes we overthink our dinners and like something like this tastes so homemade and delicious and it's the easiest thing. So I have like one clove of garlic minced in there. With garlic, you have to be really careful, especially if you're doing it solo and there's no like carrots or celery or like a base that you're tossing it into because it just burns so easily. So I have my stove literally on the lowest setting. Alexa off, my pasta is done. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that drained in my colander over in the sink and I'm just gonna let it sit for a while because it really needs to dry a little bit. What would really be great with this pasta, if you didn't have another protein, is if I had some pancetta, which I normally have on hand, or bacon, I would throw that in at this stage 
and maybe cut down on the amount of butter I would use and kind of let that salt and flavor the pasta. I'm gonna turn it down just a little bit more even. It's like literally at the lowest setting possible. And now before I add my pasta, I am going to add Bubba's is worked up. I'm gonna add some crushed black pepper. I like the mix of the red crushed pepper and the black. Two different flavor profiles. Beautiful. My pasta is very al dente. I'm just gonna need to add that. I literally baked it the bare minimum. I'm just gonna give this one toss to kind of get it all coated in the oil and butter. Now that I have all that pasta in there, I am gonna turn my heat up to like a medium low. Now I'm gonna hit it with some Parmesan and a little bit of that reserved pasta water so it doesn't tighten up too much. And this is where it's going to take on like a super creamy consistency for me. That's why you want that extra pasta water. If not, it'll tighten up and get real clumpy on you. So this is coming together beautifully. I'm actually gonna hit it with a little bit more pasta water. Go ahead and grate some fresh Parmesan into this. I always typically have fresh parm on hand. And I'm also, I'm almost going to make my own like Alfredo sauce with no cream, is what this will end up finishing like. I'm gonna turn off the heat, I'm gonna grab my lid, and that's gonna be our dinner tonight. I do think we overthink dinner sometimes, and it's really easy to bring some stuff together when you have a pantry pretty well stocked and like that came together in minutes with the chicken breast it's going to be so good and balanced like I said with the crisp green salad it's going to be perfect so that is our plan for this evening and I'm going to sign off like I sign off all of them take care of yourself take care of others be kind kindness is free give it to everyone until next time which will be tomorrow and I promise to be a little bit more exciting Bye bye